Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from YGS Electronics and I hope you enjoyed the little preview at the very beginning of the video. It's something we are going to be working on today, how to achieve that kind of process. So, and that can be done with compare functions. So, and that's exactly what we're going to be working on today. So, let me show you quickly on the manual. We're going to be working specifically on uh, using a constant and some form of counter timer and things like that. We're not going to be using the uh, the data registers for it yet, but that's going to be a separate video. Today is just to work with counters and timers, how to compare them and how that compare instruction or no, no, uh, function works. So if you see in here, it says in there, from the specified device as D, three devices are occupied. Make sure not to use the, those devices in another control. So what does that mean? So. If you see in there, what are we comparing? So CMP is going to be a compare. Then the value, what value are we comparing? In this case, it's, it says in the K100 and uh, against what is a value in a counter and what bits you're going to be turning on once those values are reached. So if you see in here, M0, it says M0 in here. So it's from starting from M0, M0, M1 and M2 is classed those uh, the, the three devices as are occupied. So you can see down there M0 if K constant is higher than then uh, high value is higher than a C20 uh, value so it's going to turn on M0. If M1 is uh, if, you know, if K100 is equal to value of C20 so that will turn on M1. And if from there on, if you want to turn on M2, you need to make sure the K value is below uh, C20 value. So that's pretty much what it's going to do. And this is down here. If you want to reset the whole thing, you're just going to be using the uh, reset value. And we're going to talk about this guy in here in another video, which is a Z, uh, reset uh, uh, all in one go. So how that's done, let's get crack on with it. So. Let's start off the PLC. Here we go. And we're going to be using internal bits for our uh, demonstration. Uh, I used external uh, bits for the uh, demonstration in the video. And uh, hopefully you can challenge yourself a little bit. And uh, if you have some form of reasoning like that, and design something that what I did in the video yourselves. See if, uh, so you can really really grasp the idea of what we're trying to do in here so but, but for demonstration we're going to be using internal bits so for this thing, so we're going to be using a m0 just the turnings are and for any compare instruction to work it needs to have an on signal every time the on signal comes on it needs to it will compare uh, if the signal is not on it doesn't it will not do anything so uh so for, for the compare we need this guy application as you said in there application instruction so how do we uh, formulate that so we say CMP so there's two types there's CMP and CMP piece and so the, a lot of the functions uh, are going to be using the P in the end because what this P does extra P does it all it does it pulses rather than uh, keep, if if M0 let's say in our case would stay on at all time it will constantly keep comparing it if you want it like that so you can do that but if you want to make sure that the uh, M0 uh, sometimes let's say would stay on a little bit longer than normal and blah and you don't want anything to happen you're just gonna put P in the end and we'll just pulse for one cycle and then M0 would have to be uh, removed to uh, send another pulse so that's where you add and P in the end will work as a pulse function so and then uh, we need to uh, what we're comparing what value we are comparing so we're gonna say we're gonna be comparing K2 and uh, uh comparing against what so let's say c zero so counter zero and what are going to be we are going to be turning on in our case let's say is m14 like we did in the video so here he goes so uh, we are comparing uh number two to uh, count, uh counter value and we're going to be turning on bits on and off uh starting as of m14 so that's that so now we don't obviously we need a counting value. So we're going to go for M2, now M1, 
and maybe so we can move the counter forward so uh, there's a counter video we've done before so uh, do check it out if you haven't done that so already so uh, we say uh, c0 and we're gonna say k2 to achieve what we are what, what, what we are what we were achieving before in the video start the video so now we got the counter so what's going to be turning on so m14 is going to be our bit that's going to be turning on when the value c is going to be the uh, below k2 so uh, k2 basically will be larger than c2 so uh we're going to say m14 Ooh. okay and let's let's go external values why not so we're gonna show y zero and then we then remember i said uh, from m14 15 16 is going to be those comparison values which you if you uh, look at the video in here it sort of explains you when things are going to come on so it doesn't matter if you're using whichever m value you're using that is going to be going it can be m14 it can be m100 uh, or whatever m from that m number you put in it will count three bits forwards you so m14 15 and 16 so it could be like m20 21 22 so that's how this compa uh, compare works so and then obviously yes we need m15 and then we are going to y0 y1 and we're gonna go m16 to compare to turn on when the value uh, c is higher than k2 by the way we need to change that one to three by the way so we can get that higher value three okay so right let's put that there and then we're gonna say it was now gonna be y2 yeah Y2. So there we go. So that's a very basic way of setting this up. So uh, the only things left now, let's have a, a, a quick play around. So let's load up our uh, simulator. So uh, if you're using a GX developer, uh, GX works, uh, not GX developer, so that might be a little bit different. I can't remember last time when I used the GX developer. So uh, I can't remember how that's been done there. So uh, here we go. So for the value, remember, for the value to be read, what's going on, this needs to come on. Let's say the counter value, nothing's changing in here, but we're going to turn a uh, this guy on. So on. So you can see M14 came on because C is below K2. So let's do We can see if we, we can keep this on. We're going to demonstrate in a minute. We're gonna be turning off. So, so now, whoop, we're gonna uh, count a little bit forward. So, one. As you can see, if we are doing this now, nothing happened because the k value is still uh, higher than the c value. So, and now let's go and do a one more count. And see, nothing happened because he hasn't read that value yet because you need to give a signal for that value to be read so here we go we read that value now it says okay my k is uh, equal to c2 i'm jumping for the next bit uh in uh, in line of m14 so that's the 15th one so as you can see m14 is off and m15 is on so and now that we are a a count of one more forward as you see, value changed, but the M16 did not come on. So let's compare it. Voila, boom. And it jumps to M16. So that's how it's pretty much working. So, so and to reset it, uh, you really need to reset it, uh, uh, reset all the Y values. Now I quickly have the, uh, gotta get that done off the camera so we don't drag on the video. Here we go, done that. So we created in here, we created another signal M2. So basically we create, we, we reset M14, 15 and 16. And obviously we need to reset at the C0. Let's just change this uh, view because it's just too much going up and down. So let's change that one to, oh, not, not that. 17 will do. Thank you. 
there we go so we can see a bit better so here we go one the signal we reset that uh, all of these and once that done so let's go into the system so all right let's now so once that uh once that uh, once you uh, uh, did uh, whatever you want to do with the compare uh, once you click the reset make sure the counter gets reset as well so the whole thing returns back to normal and that can be like done in my case in our video beginning video that was done with the uh, stop a button so let's have a look what happens if you keep holding in the m0 so uh you do that there we go so oh and we can't be holding him so m0 now it is being held in so uh, let's start clicking at the counter forward so nothing changes because we're still below as you can see it constantly keeps reading so uh, that's why uh, that's how that works so uh, and if i do it again right down and as you can see you jump to m16 so uh, it sort of uh, continuously keeps uh, reading uh, the values but if what happens in here if that constantly stays on then you do your reset in here it resets the bits but as you can see and it turns back on the m14 because he read the value and uh, straight away so um, that's something uh, you, you might uh, don't want to do but in case i'll demonstrate that uh, in case you want that to be a pulse, so let's change that one around. Oh, not that one. So let's just go in the right mode. So, P. Okay. So, F4. And let's see what happens when that P is down there. There we go. Let's leave this guy um, on. Okay, it turns this on, send the pulse in there. So let's see what happens when you start moving a bit forwards now, the counter. So, see, now nothing is happening because even though this signal is on, it is using just the pulse. So uh, once we are going to remove that, and we on it again and only then it read it in and as you can see it doesn't really matter now if that stays on because it's been it received this pulse and it's not going to do any more read and as you can see m16 did not come on and that's uh, how that would work with a pulse so here we go ladies and gentlemen that is uh, the compared instruction using a timer counter a con and constant in an upcoming video so we're going to be looking at data registers how to compare at them but for that we are going to be starting to add a, a little bit extra to, to our a rig like uh, analog cards and we're going to work a little bit with a hmi coming to it so uh for my time being this compare is going to be just for this process now so i uh, hope you enjoyed it and it gives you a good understanding how that works and it gives you good ideas where you can stay where you can really really use that so uh other than that ladies and gentlemen if you like that video please uh, click that like and uh, comment below uh, any questions or anything you would like to know and and um, even if you want to criticize it, maybe something's not right with the video and you want to like want to point it out, definitely do so. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.